Hi, this is Bill, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend D.D. Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including the Quantum Zone, this battle the third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes, or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. Hello, kids, and welcome to another episode of Salty and Petty, the final Smith Timber episode. <clears throat> she's a little bit, she's a little bit salty. And he's a whole lot of petty. And together, we're the Salty and Petty podcast. Duh! That's right, kids. So, what are we doing for the final Smith Timber episode? Why, we're going to review Chasing Amy. Because I didn't want to make Phil suffer through Jersey Girl. I'm not. Th- I mean, I did make him sit through a whole year of bad comic book movies. So, and yeah. I didn't want to do Dogma because that's too controversial. So, Chase and Amy, I think, was a happy medium. Boy, your volume went down again. Oh well. <laughs> I think you and Robert just old as shit. What? Exactly. Hey? Sorry, we Sorry, can't we all, can't eat, all the eat the mic the like mic you, Phil. There we are. Ah. Exactly. Anyway, so. Got the Rob Southgate ear. So this so is only his third, third movie in the, the view askew askew universe. universe. Yeah, I hate that name, by the way. Okay, so this is this is the so this is the third one after Clerks and Mall Rats then? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I could yeah, I couldn't remember if there was one in between this and Mall Rats. Okay, so. So it's from 1997. It's allegedly a romantic comedy drama. It's, of course, written and directed by Kevin Smith. It stars Ben Affleck, Joey Lauren Adams, and Jason Lee. And essentially, it's about a male comic book artist who falls in love with a lesbian as his best friend watches in, like, this sick, perverse, like, rubber neck way. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, they're all comic book writers or artists, so yes. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, like this is a little, little autobiographical, autobiographical, but allegedly, allegedly this film was inspired by that, by that uh, a, a scene that in one of his Smith's, Smith's friends, friends movies. movies. Yeah. Uh, I think it's I think Go, Go Fish, Fish or whatever. whatever. And What's she's that? like, they're like, lesbians, but the lesbian sells out by sleeping with a man. Couldn't keep that five star rating. Uh, <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah, I I thought he I thought I read something that also was uh, his friend Smith Scott was Mosier. dating Adams, Adams at the time. Yeah. Yeah, but his friend Scott Mosier, it was ba- kind of based on him. I don't know if he was in love with a lesbian or something. Or... Sure. sure. <laughs> and this, I think, I think this, this is the most highly praised, praised movie he's, he's ever, ever had. had actually. actually, it, it got, got nominated. Oh, it won, won two, two Independent, Independent Spirit, Spirit Awards. Awards. Oh. For best best screenplay, screenplay, and then then shout out out to Jason Lee, like like, long suffering (laughs) Kevin (laughs) Smith (laughs) collaborator. My name is Earl. Earl. (laughs) I I think think that's what he's best best known for at this point, though. I don't. I don't think people really remember remember too much much of the the Kevin Smith Smith movies. movies. Yeah, yeah, I had forgotten. But no, I think you hit the nail on the head where this is like the least Kevin Smithy Kevin Smith movie. Yeah. So. Maybe he should have tried to steer into that sketch. It's just so, so weird, weird seeing Ben Affleck, Affleck without, without Matt Damon. Damon. Well, because like in my mind, they're, they're like, like a, a pair. pair. They're the power couple. <laughs> truly, the love of his life. That's, that's none of that's my, my business. business. I mean, but truly, the love of their, their each other's lives. lives. I mean, it was one scene, but they couldn't go a whole movie without the two of them appearing together in the same scene. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, you know dogma, dogma fixes, fixes that. that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, let's kind of get, get into, into it. it. I mean, it, it was 1997, but the goatee, the goatee when Ben Affleck was throwing me to. It's his, his best, best look. look. Nobody, Nobody tell Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez. Lopez. Oh! Listen, Listen when, when he cleaned he up, up to be with, with her, he lost his white, white man, man Boston, Boston swag, swag okay? okay? Oh! Oh! I'm just saying, yeah, once yeah, upon a time, time, it wasn't Chris Evans being the king of Boston. It was Ben Affleck, okay? 
If you know, you know. You say he sold out for that hua. <laughs> well, he sold out for way before the Jennifer Lopez thing. That's, that's, that, that's the that's the bottom of the iceberg when he gets with Jennifer Lopez. There's a whole lot I can say about Ben Affleck. Oh, stay tuned, kids, for upcoming episodes. <laughs> Might be, might be not that anybody cares, anybody cares. Um, um, but like, of like, course, course, we'll start, we'll start the story. story. Uh, uh, they're, they're, it like starts where they're promoting the comic, comic book Blunt Man and Chronic, Chronic which, which comes, comes later, later in, in another, another movie. movie. <laughs> Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, so yeah. yeah, they meet they Alyssa. Meet Alyssa. She's, She's a struggling writer. writer. She's friends with Hooper, the the black writer and activist. Has to, hide, has to hide his uh being gay, yeah. 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 So he's all, all militant, militant and you know, <laughs> you know his, his comic, comic is called, called White Hating Coon, 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 and I'm just like, like... Okay, okay, Kevin Smith, Smith do, you, do you have have, have, have you, you ever, ever met, met a black, black person? person? Chris Rock doesn't, doesn't count, count, by the way. way. Oh, I'm black, just in case you don't know, I can say that. Uh, I was have you met Chris Rock at this point? I'm sure they had. Okay, so I was saying, I know he was in I, don't, like, I mean, because I think Dogma, Dogma comes, comes a couple, couple movies after this. this. Yeah, I know that, but yeah, I wasn't sure if that. And was... like, like, because Kevin, Kevin was, was in that, that circle, circle that Chris Rock, Rock was in. Mm. Well, it's well, like the like third, third level of the circle, circle that Chris Rock was in. Yeah. Not like Not the Jerry Seinfeld, CK, CK Lewis, Louis CK circle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like a couple circles down from that. So I'm sure they met, but I'm just saying. So yeah, so, I, I, didn't I, like I didn't like that, that at all. all. Yeah, I was gonna say that I, even even as a white guy, I was like, boy, that's weird coming from a white. But it's the nineties. True, true. But still, it, it, you know, this, this movie is, is only one hundred and thirteen minutes, minutes, but it, but felt, it felt really, really long, long to me this time, time in this watch. watch. You know what? For some reason, I know the first time I watched this, which was probably close to when it came out, it seemed long to me, but it seemed shorter to me this time. So I don't know. No, for me, that's, I, I, this feels so long. long. It's just because I think I was, I was so busy, busy cringing. cringing. Yeah, there was a lot of cringe in this, and then it's basically just like, it's the plot. The plot's not as solid as you think. It's basically just like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to, I want to marry this lesbian. I can, I can flip, flip her. her. I can change her. Yeah, because that's always it's... the start of a healthy relationship. I can change them. I will, I will say, say for the for budget, budget that was two hundred fifty thousand dollars, they made twelve million back. back. Now this, this is what this I'm, what talking, I'm talking, about. talking about. Like, I think, I think movies nowadays have way too big a budget. budget. Yeah, and that's and just that's so, so much more to lose. lose so, so that makes, that makes less, less movies, movies to make. make which that's yeah, why that's we get all this block, block, blockbuster slop. And so, like these true independent indie romance dark comedy movies that we used to have. Yeah, and again, it's like stuff like this. You don't need a huge budget because you don't want to have like special effects and stuff. You know what this reminds me of? A, a, a very a less well done swingers, swingers with Vince Vaughn and oh. John Favreau. Just like just the like budget, budget of how it's shot, shot and like, and like it's just yeah. friends together, yeah. things like that. Yeah, you know we gotta cover that one day too. It's been a while. Well, since I, can talk, I can talk. I can talk, Daddy, Daddy uh, John Favreau, Favreau all, day. all day. You know this. <laughs> The least problematic, problematic person, person at Marvel. Marvel. Okay. Oh my! I'm gonna give him his flowers. Started it all. He was he was probably there before Robert Downey Jr. Right? I I keep pitched, pitched Robert Downey Jr. I pretty actually. yeah. I think that's the isn't that the story? Yeah. So I mean, he's he was MCU before Robert Downey Jr. Even. Yeah. yeah. Uh. So yeah, uh, so so yeah, yeah Holden. Holden he's like, like oh, I'm attracted, attracted to, her. to her. So obviously, obviously she's, she's a lesbian. A lesbian. <laughs> So they, so kind, they of kind of begin spending, spending time, time with each other, and I don't know why. Well, I mean, I, I mean, at least it's nice that he, I guess he's a true. Well, you could say, oh, maybe he's attracted to her physically, but I guess he. I mean, it's supposed to be he's attracted to her. They develop a friendship. a friendship. Yes, friendship. And so, bank, uh, Banky was like, "What the hell?" And it's like, it's like start, start totally starts cock blocking. blocking. Uh huh. Uh huh. And, and so that kind of causes, causes their business, business partnership, partnership to suffer, suffer as, well. as well. Yep. And it's 1997, so Banky's the one who basically, you know, he'll throw out the F word and, you know, whatever yeah. else. Yeah. But then, like, Holden confesses his love to Alyssa. 
she gets she mad, mad, but then she comes back and sleeps with him, and they start a romantic relationship, and I'm just so confused. And at this I, point, I'm like, has Kevin Smith ever met a woman, let alone a lesbian? Well, I mean, she was conflicted, and I, I mean, I think it was basically just, uh-oh, is, you know, is there trouble here? But then she comes back, and you're thinking everything's going to be smooth sailing. But then he finds out that he's not the first guy she was with, either. <laughs> yes, yes, the, the plot, plot literally, literally thickens. thickens. Hell. Hell. <laughs> so it's like, oh, oh you, you didn't, didn't defile, defile her five-star five rating. rating. That's, That's what this was all, all about. about. Finger cuffs, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, she, she, she participated in a threesome with two, with two boys, boys back in high school. Oh, this feels so Frank Miller now that I think about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's giving it's Karen, Karen Page. Page. <laughs> Your lesbian love it. It's giving <laughs> Electra. A blonde, a blonde, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Ooh. Kevin Tom, Smith being Kevin I'm Smith. telling you, man, Frank Miller got Kevin Smith young. Uh, yeah. He hooked him by the nose and didn't let go. Got in that brain. So like, so, like, Hoover's, Hoover's like, tells uh, Holden, uh, Holden to be, to be honest, honest and truthful and, and ask her about her past. past. And, and he's, he's like, you're just jealous. jealous. And he's like, he, he gave, gave, her, he gave him the Regina, Regina George, George Mean Girl George treatment. George I can't help you're in love with me. She's <laughs> so like, ooh. <laughs> this guy's so full of himself. I know. And then it's like, you can tell the Kevin Smith influences because the Star Wars reference is. And then, like... Yeah, they have this big conversation at the hockey game, so. Yeah, yeah then later Holden meets Jay and, Jay and Silent, Silent Bob. Bob. Obviously, Obviously the, the inspiration for Blunt Man and Chronic. And at what else? A diner. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I mean, I I mean, I like the characters Jay and Silent Bob, but I mean, I guess maybe because this is the least Kevin Smith mo- Smithy movie, it's just like they seemed out of place. But like Jay and Silent, Silent Bob being in it, it's just like, like it totally, totally, totally throws me on. You're like, ah, oh, shit, shit, this is a Kevin Smith, Smith movie. movie. Like, you can oh, forget you can about, about it up to that, that point, point almost. almost. Oh, yeah, there's Kevin Smith. Yeah, he even has a monologue. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it basically gives you the meaning behind the title, Chasing Amy. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, kind of obvious, obvious, but... This tubby bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's so <laughs> funny. He's, like, he's at that diner to give them their, like, residuals for the comic books, and he's discussing his troubles, and then... He's like, yeah, I have a girlfriend named Amy. <laughs> so, so they try to fix, fix uh, uh they try to get a plan, plan to fix the relationship, relationship and fracture uh, uh, and, the and the relationship, relationship with Banky. Banky. So, they, so invite they invite him all over. over. What a what mess. mess. He, proposes he proposes a threesome because that, that, that fixes everything, everything guys. guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically, yeah, he's like, yeah, then we'll be on the same level. And yeah, it's just. Weird. Weird. And of course, I'm sure Banky feels comfortable there. It's like, what? You're in love with me. I mean, maybe it had some truth to it. I mean, it could, but uh, either way. I I never know how I feel about uh, male homoerotic subtext because I feel like there's there's not enough enough representation of true male male friendship. friendship. Yeah, exactly. So it's always like, it's fun when you like are super trash like me, but save it for the fanfic, I think sometimes. And again, there's nothing wrong with it, but I was just like, wait a minute. So is Kevin Smith saying he wants to bang at least one of his male friends, if not all of them? You know, I was having this discussion actually in the group chat recently about how guys say, oh, girls don't have real friendships. It's so superficial. Um, um, but, but yeah, we're yeah, there we're for there each other's, other's like life traumas, traumas and we can share stuff, stuff but most guys, guys are can't, can't even ask, ask their friend, their friend to, move. to move. I just think it's like male, male, male friendships are so different from female, female friendships that it's. It, it, the, the it's like most guys don't know their best friend, their male best friend's birthday. birthday. And that's, and that's, that's, that's a real statistic. statistic. That's, that's crazy, crazy to me. To me. Yeah, but it get but it, uh, but if uh, if two men have a f- friends have a problem, I mean they'll pretty much get it out of the way. They'll punch, punch each other. Yeah, yeah, but women don't harbor a grudge for how long? That's not, that's true. not true. I think, I that's, think a that's a stereotype for sure. For sure. Mm, some women, I don't know. What's that. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, boomers, maybe boomers and Gen X. X. Definitely, Definitely not, not millennials and younger. younger. We don't got we don't time for that shit, bro. We cut you off. Go no contact, real quick. Oh, that's true story. Yeah. So I don't know. 
Yeah. But yeah, that that threesome scene, I thought that was weird too because it's like it's like, oh yeah. I mean, how uncomfortable would that be for her too? It's like, oh yeah, yeah. This will make us closer. Yeah, sleep with me and my best friend. It's like, oh. It's like, uh, it's, uh, it's offensive, offensive, and this is not going to save the relationship. relationship. Yeah. And then they both, both leave. leave. Good, Good for, them. for them. And then and it's then crazy. It comes to like, like one, one year, year later. later. Bank and Alyssa are like really promoting, promoting their comics. Comment. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, one is named Baby Dave, Dave, and the other one is, one is uh, idiosyncratic, idiosyncratic routine. And, and then it's revealed that Holden and Banksy aren't in their partnership. partnership. That he, he owns, owns the, the rights, rights, the publishing and the creative, and creative rights, rights to Black Man and Chronic. Chronic. Well, because he was the penciler, not the tracer. Exactly. Oh, ouch. I'm ah, joking. That's the joke they made in the movie. I know. Still, Still burn. burn. <laughs> no, I know. I, hey, burn. I am respect for inkers i don't know about kevin smith <laughs> exactly <laughs> but that little, little sad, sad smile, smile basically gives, gives holden, holden it, it, it's so, so sad. sad oh yeah and then he's and like, like go talk to Alyssa." and, he made and then they have that emotional, emotional conversation, conversation and he gives him a copy, copy of chasing, chasing amy, amy. <gasps> how, how sick is that, that? By, the by the way what he makes he a comic about their failed relationship he said it was a Is he going to give her some yeah, residuals or what? I, didn't he say it was like a limited run, like he only made like 500 copies or something? So I don't think he was that's making it. That's still a lot. And, uh, you, uh, know, you know, once, once one copy, copy goes, goes on the internet, internet it's, it's up there for, there for fucking ever. ever. Yeah, that's true. But it was 1997 though, too. Uh, uh, babes, babes, I hate, I hate to be the one to tell you, as a child who grew up with unfettered access to the internet, people were absolutely scanning comic books in the in the late 90s to the to the internet. Really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, but it one of my favorite, favorite sites was pretty, pretty much founded, founded in 1996. 1996. <laughs> yeah, but it would be it was it was it was way harder back then. I mean, you had to have someone hang up the phone, and then you you know took what probably two hours to scan that thing in, right? You'd be surprised. Oh. I mean, if you depending on what part of the country you lived in, you probably did have DSL at that time. Most people were probably stuck on dial-up, but the people that were doing stuff like that on the internet probably had DSL and were on the West Coast. Just saying. just saying that I'm just I saying that would that suck, suck for her. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five hundred copies is four hundred and ninety nine too many. Oh, I know. Wouldn't that have been the more romantic one, or if she would have asked him, you know, what the print run was or something, he would have been like one copy. It's yours. Exactly. exactly. That, that that should have been the move. move. But, but what's crazy, crazy is at the end. end she fades she like, like she's like, nah, I don't care. Here. Moves his comic aside, aside and she's like, oh, she, oh, she gave him the goatee. Just, just some dude, dude I used to know. know. <laughs> I was like, good for you, sister. Should have been like, she should have been like, ah, some shithead tried to get me in a threesome. Exactly. Uh, I don't find this movie to be as quotable as other Kevin Smith movies, though. Yeah, no, no, no. Did you know that this film allegedly was two votes away from an Academy Award nomination for Best Original Screenplay? Really? But that's according to Kevin Smith's own podcast. So take that with a grain of salt. You believe that? Uh, um... I mean, 19... Let's see what movies... Let me just look this up. Best Original Screenplay... And, and again, they were going for romantic comedy and, you know, the whole Let's doomed see. to love thing. I, maybe. I, I'm just going to look. Oh, my God. So many. 1997. But, I mean, do you think Oh, was... hell oh, no. no. First uh -oh. of all, Goodwill Good Hunting, Hunting, which one deservedly, yeah. as good as he gets, booking fucking nights. Deconstructing Harry, Harry, which is a Woody Allen movie, movie, so that's a no for me. Was it and then the full Monty. Monty. Uh, okay, so I thought, wasn't Titanic? No, no fucking no way. way. Was he was in contention, there's no way. No, 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 no. Good Sorry, Kevin, Kevin Smith, I don't believe you. Goodwill Hunting, how you like them apples? Listen, no, they were such darlings back then. Before a life, life ruined, ruined them and, and didn't, didn't let them be who they needed, they needed to, be. to be. Oh my. <laughs> if you know, you so, know. I'm just saying, it's, it's really, really funny, funny, like, like when, when Matt Damon, Damon got, got married to that, that bartender, bartender, Ben Affleck's life fell apart and spun, and spun out of control. control. That's all I'm saying. 
That's all I'm saying. Oh, Leave maybe. Alone. Oh, maybe. Maybe his life was the reverse of uh, chasing Amy. Maybe he was in love with Matt Damon. Then he had to go out and find a that, woman. That's, that's my that's point, point, babes. babes. I'm slow. Gotta give me a second. All right. I, I can do a whole deep dive on their relationship. It's it's fascinating. I think that needs to be an episode. <laughs> Patrons, let me know because that needs to be behind a paywall. Oh my! <laughs> but well, no, I mean, but even, even just their friendship, friendship has changed in a long time. Like, like they, they haven't worked, worked together, together on a movie in a really long time. It's just a whole thing. I yeah, just feel really sad. Do you think it could, is it possible? What you know, one person Ben Affleck uh, gets uh, resentful, maybe on a certain level when you know when you're the guy. You we all, everybody said, "Oh, Ben's, Ben's just a tag on, but he's talented in his own right, right. Especially as a director, as we yeah. soon found yeah. out. But if, you, but even if it's just in your own head that you think like your partners that had so much more success, especially after you guys have. Did he know? Because let's be real. Uh, I. Uh, I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not saying, I'm not saying Ben Affleck hasn't had his successes, but I think I, I'm gonna be I'm so real, y'all know, know I'm, I'm not the not biggest the big Ben Affleck, Affleck fan, fan. But, but the town the blows, blows anything, anything that Matt Damon, Damon has Damon ever done out of the water. Oh, y'all can fight me if you want to, but you'd be wrong. Oh my, I I can be very objective about it. Uh, all right. Got to find the Matt Damon uh, filmography here. All right. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, it just maybe it's just my uh, maybe I I just making this up in my head, but it just seems to me almost that it seems like I don't know Matt Damon's had more successes. I mean, yeah, the the town's crazy. he's been in more stuff. Oh, but successes. But successes hmm. Hmm. Critical yeah. acclaim does not does translate not to commercial, commercial success. success. Mm. Okay. Good Will Hunting. The the Bourne the Bourne movies. Hello. Actually, Actually a flop, a flop when, when you consider, consider action, action movies of the time. time. The, the action action, fran fran action, action movie franchise. Actual, actual flop. flop. And the fact, and the fact that, that he left and had to come back. back. Listen, we can do this all day. I I'll maybe give you the Departed. Maybe I'll give you that one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. The Departed. Come on. But he right. wasn't really, really that big of a deal, deal in it. It was, it was more yeah. someone, else's someone else's movie. The the oceans movies. Small, Small part. part. Hey. Uh, maybe you're right. I mean, I'm looking at his list here. It's there was an accountant too. Oh, that's no, coming next year. So yeah, like I said, he's been in a lot of stuff. I'll give you, I'll the, give Martian, you the Martian, the Departed. Departed. But let's say Elysium, Elysium another action franchise, franchise that he tried to start, start absolute freaking flop. flop. All the, like, like, his cameo stuff, stuff, like, Euro Trip is fun. Which he does just, you know, to keep himself occupied and doesn't take himself too seriously. He does stuff like that all the time. Oh, God. But, like, yeah, go through it. Oh, God, Mystic Pizza. Some broad trying to make me watch that on a first date. Maybe a First of all, Mystic Pizza, Pizza is, is great, great, and you should have watched, watched it. it. No and don't call women broads. No, you know what I mean. No, what, what do you, do you mean? I'll get though. When you're 20 years old and you're and you're trying and you're trying to make out, come on. Maybe, maybe we'll give them um, Contagion Two. Maybe I don't know. Mm. Legend of Dagger Bands was, was definitely an Oscar, Oscar flop that he was thinking he was going to get something for. Yeah, you might be right. Just looking at his list, I'm just like, uh, he might, he might have, he might have racked up more movies, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, let, 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 we, we can talk about Ben Affleck's filmography. Oh my. So, so we can we go, go if you want to not, not count. count Let's see. I mean, Days and Confused, Mall Rats, Glory Days, Chasing Amy. If you want to go start, like, if you want to even the playing field after Good Will Hunting, we have Shakespeare in Love, Armageddon, absolute blockbuster fucking smash. You got me there. Yes. Forces of Nature, you gotta do a Sandy movie. 200 Cigarettes, Bounce, Reindeer Games, one of the best psychological thriller films of the 2000s, easily. Pearl Harbor, Harbor. Little, little bit of a flop, but his, his role, role had critical acclaim. 
the sum of, of all fears, fears. Jack, Jack Ryan, Ryan the, original the original reboot, reboot. did better than most people expected. expected. Daredevil. Daredevil. Ah, yes. We won't, we won't talk, talk about, about Geely. Paycheck, also, also a pretty, pretty good, good mid-2000s, mid-2000s movie. movie. Did pretty, pretty decent. decent. Oh, let's see. Smoking, Smoking Aces, Aces was huge, was huge from yes. 2006. I did like gone, that. baby, gone? gone? Director Air, right? right? Come on. So what did he Don't do with me. his life? That's what happened. The, the town. town. Director, Director writer, writer, star. star. Triple, triple fucking, fucking threat. threat. The no, company men, Argo, Argo gone, gone girl, gone. gone? Please. Please, better than anything, anything that damn has ever fucking done. done. The accountant, the accountant. put some put glasses, glasses on and, and, and give you the, the stuff, stuff the little Superman slump, slump over, over by day and an, and an assassin, assassin by night. night. We, won't we won't talk, talk about, about Batman because that was a down. That's a thumbs down for me. Yeah. Uh, so you're welcome, kids. This is exactly what you would hear if you were a young Kimbo sitting on a date with Will Hellfire. And oh, you gotta know what the boys like. like. In the, in but the no, I'm of, just like objectively. Listen, listen. when it comes to movies, movies I, I spent a lot of time, time watching movies in the 2000s. 2000s. This is the point where you order another mudslide. Uh, <laughs> uh, at uh, that, that point, point it'd probably be a, a mango uh, margarita. <laughs> Tequila shoot us by age. And, and then if I really, really <laughs> feel like, like, like really, really, really landing on things, things I'd be like, you know what? what? Due to modern, modern consensus, Hulk actually can beat Superman, Superman in some instances. Oh, but we're yeah. talking constant I'm like, Superman, you're dead fucking wrong. Oh, I thought you were, you were gonna say, you know, I'll I'll say Hulk. No, be- like DC like, like admitted like, like two years ago that, that mainline, mainline Superman, Superman technically maybe on some circumstances can be beaten by Hulk. Fuck you, DC. DC. That's how I know you're not real fans. fans. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. about. But if you're talking about cosmic armor Superman, Superman, nobody's nobody's touching touching him. him. Nobody. Nobody. I thought you were going to say you'd admit Hulk could beat Superman. You know, I was going to say, yeah, that boy better. That boy is going to be very pretty and very hung. So. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to say, under some circumstances, that's according to DC, but I didn't see any proof. Maybe not Hulk, but somebody's smashing. Exactly. I'm just saying, according to the modern, like, uh, deck, uh, deck games, games and, and any other like, like um, um mobile, mobile gaming, gaming like, like when you look at their power ups, there's just no way. And that's and what that's I went what by. by. So I don't, I don't know, know what those people, people were talking about. about. That's all that's I'm all. saying. I mean, I mean, uh, I don't want to uh, anger you, but I mean, uh, Hulk, uh, Hulk does fight literal gods. Okay, okay but have him come fight Cosmic Armor Superman. What Cosmic Armor? Now we're throwing caveats in here. I'm just that's thinking that's, that's literally the most, most OP, OP Superman, Superman ever. ever. Okay, OP, but I'm just, oh, so regular Hulk has to fight OP Superman? No, but I'm saying that's, that's DC's, DC's consensus, consensus but okay. literally, literally everybody's, everybody's consensus is that Superman, Superman is the most, most strongest comic book character, character, period, period end of end conversation. conversation. That, that is the literal, literal general popular consensus. consensus. Only, Only weird, weird, like, like French, French people, people say Hulk can beat Superman. I've never met a normal person that says Hulk can beat Superman. Never! These brain dead morons with giant penises. I'm just I'm saying, saying, seriously. seriously I've, I've been, been to tons of cons. I've had tons of conversations. conversations. I ain't never met a normal person that said, said Hulk can beat Superman. Superman. It's, it's always some, some weird, weird Marvel, Marvel sycophant. sycophant. A, true a true believer, believer deep, deep in the cult. cult. Sorry, Sorry, Russell. Russell. <laughs> Hold on, let me put down my statue. Of exactly. <laughs> Close. <laughs> I just love how the Chasey Amy episode became Ben Affleck versus Matt Damon and now Hulk versus Superman. <laughs> Listen, I can always get the conversation since Superman, Superman can, beat can beat Hulk. Hulk. Always. always. That I is know. my specialty. I know. I know. But no, like, you just kind of brought it up. I know. I know. So I was like, I can go movie for movie on this one. This is one of my, like, special interests. Hulk, Hulk, Hulk beating Superman is, like, a little... Number two arch nemesis right behind that uh, Wonder Woman Snickers ass. Listen, I will say Henry Cavill can probably beat up Mark Ruffalo. Oh, what? Yeah, I would <laughs> not that you would ever want to. I would assume, yes. You mean the cavalry? You know, honestly, digging it. Oh, but he's gonna be like whatever he is gonna be in Marvel. Uh, Captain Britain or whatever. What he originally should have been never should have been Superman. 
Hyperion. I could see that too. <laughs> oh my god! Could you, oh my god! That would, would that be the biggest f you to DC if they basically if they made him Hyperion, basically Marvel Superman? <laughs> Is that or Sentry? <laughs> You know what? You know Fuck what? it. Make, Make him Wonder, Wonder Man. Man. Oh! Now nah, we already cast a Wonder Man. We did? we did? Yeah! You didn't know they're working on a Wonder Man show? No, no I didn't, I hear, didn't that. hear that. Yeah! Who is think? it? <laughs> Babes, yeah. you know I don't no, give I don't a shit, shit about Marvel. Marvel. I Mar know. MCU specifically. I know, I know. No, um. Once, Once Daredevil, Daredevil is over, over I, am I am free. free. Baby free. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, uh, yeah, you know who's playing Wonder Man, right? No, tell me, who? Oh, uh, what's his face? Who played, um, yeah, Yaya Abdul Mateen, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They did that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh she's like, oh, what, you know, like that? <laughs> I mean, if you like it, I love it. I mean, I, I'm I'm waiting to see. I hope they. I mean, I love Yaya. Yeah. He got he robbed as Black, Black Manta. Manta. Uh -huh. But also, I feel I it's like one of those castings, much like Jonathan, Jonathan Majors, Majors, they didn't, didn't strike while the iron, iron was hot, and now, now nobody, nobody cares. cares. Uh, it's, it's giving it's when everybody, everybody was hiring. Um, um, what's the name of that guy, guy who played Kylo, Kylo Ren? Uh, uh, Adam Driver. Yeah, just off the sheer force of it. Being connected, being connected to Star, to Star Wars, Wars, and yeah, we yeah, all, yeah. Know all know how those, those movies, movies turned out. I mean, I I know it's like the the uh, the name of the game in Hollywood, especially these days. But I'm a, I'm always just like I'd rather sometimes I'd rather just have an unknown than just have someone just based on their name who they are. Yeah. Like oh, they had this good movie out, you know, last year. So let's and, put it. And in it's this a mini series, series. so it's so like, like, do we need to have a name? name? Can't we, Can't we spend, spend some, some money, money somewhere, somewhere else? else? Yeah, if, if it's a, if it's a if it's a show on Disney Plus, do we need a big name every time? I mean, I mean apparently, apparently we do, we do because, because anything, anything outside of Wanda Vision has been a flop. flop. Oh yeah, that's right. Agatha Long's coming here soon. Do we need that? Uh, okay. uh, we're looking, we're for, looking people for people to cover it because I, I ain't doing, doing the shit. The shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you see, I didn't ask you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do know. we have? Are, are you guys? You and just? I haven't or? discussed it with anyone yet, but I mean, I was like, yeah, you should put out a cast about who wants, who wants to talk, talk about, about this crap? crap. I love this show, Phil. Do you exactly? Yeah. Like, yeah, you have you to, you have, have to, to deal, deal with a puppet, puppet in, the in the show, show but, but other than that, that. Oh. please, <laughs> please, um, I mean, okay, I, so did, I, God, I, I did two. Almost 300 episodes of Super Connectivity. I know exactly what he would say. Oh, exactly. You're, you're, you're basically a Charlie, Charlie bot. bot. Exactly. I've been programmed. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get yeah, back to chasing Avery. Avery. I'm so, so sorry. sorry. The great tapestry of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, if I'm going to rate this in Kevin, Kevin Smith movies, movies I'm, I'm going to give it a, it a B plus for Blunt Oh. Okay. In the Kevin, Kevin Smith, Smith grand, grand scheme, scheme of things. Of things. Movie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a, give it a C minus. C is in cunt. Oh! <laughs> See you next Tuesday. Wow. Uh, Very uh, average, average kind of bland. bland. Definitely, Definitely trying, trying to be, to be edgy, edgy in that, that late '90s way. Yeah, and again, it didn't age that well. Uh, so bad. Especially the, the dialogue and stuff. You know what this movie reminds, reminds me of? Now that I think about it, what? It's, it's two, two movies. movies. It's, it's serendipity and along came Polly. Hmm. That's, That's what this feels, feels kind of like, like a little bit, bit. but it's but a rom-com rom -com from the from late 90s, 90s so they, so they all, all are literally, literally the same. same yeah and again it's like how do i put this it's or like, the, truth or the truth about truth cats and dogs. dogs yeah it's like 97 it's like oh the, the, the lesbian thing is such a big mysterious well thing. Ellen, ellen you have to you think have to i think yeah. he definitely yeah. was trying to capitalize on a cultural moment mm-hmm Uh, we're, we're, uh, he was dating her at the time, right? I know they dated Joey, her. Joey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I think, I think like, like literally in the middle, middle of filming or something, something they started, started dating. dating. Uh, oh, is this where they started? Okay. I think, I think so. so. Because she was in Mall Rats. They said it's the, the lines, lines a little, a little blurry, blurry on it. On it. Uh, okay. Nobody, Nobody, Nobody quite, quite remembers. remembers. Yeah, because she was in Mall Rats. I wasn't sure if that's where they started dating her. Uh, you know, it's each their own. Unless he saw her flash her boobs in Mallrats, he's like, oh, we must stay. 
<laughs> what would have happened to her anyway? I don't know. That's what I was thinking during this movie. I'm like, what is she doing now? She was nominated, nominated for, for a Golden, Golden Globe. Globe. Yeah, because I thought she went on to other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's done, done stuff, stuff, but like, like I can't I think, think the last time I actually saw, saw her. her. Uh, I want to say ah, poor nice it was the Jay and Silent Bob reboot, reboot, but before, before that, that, it had to it be, had be something. something. Born 1968, so close. So, so close. close. Uh, we got oh, uh, yeah, I yeah, can't I think, think of anything before the Jay and Silent, Silent Bob reboot, reboot that I actually saw, saw like 20, movie wise, but in the TV show, she did a lot. She's in a movie, I guess, Greedy People. That's 2024, it's saying. Oh. That was Joseph Gordon Levitt. Oh, no. Oh, I know I what know it was. United States, States of Terror. Terror. Okay. I guess she had a TV show, show called Still the King. King. Yep. Back in like 2016. Yeah, it's saying 2016, 2017. Yep. 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 Interesting. Yeah, she's, it looks like she. She's still steady, steady, just not, steady, just not like real recognizable, recognizable stuff. stuff. It may be like, like at least once a year she uh, it looks like she has either a movie or TV show. So, I mean, she's working. Actually, oh, she, what is what Jason Lee doing, doing right now? now? Oh, is she he did. still living she's off those, uh, uh, my name is Earl. I mean, that thing was in uh, syndication for the long, is it, I don't know if it still is, but it was in syndication for the longest time. So, he, yeah, he might have been. Oh, uh, he does voice work. work. We bing, 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 the movie. That's, That's so, so cute. cute. He go. also did. Oh, Alvin, Alvin and the Chipmunks. And the chipmunks. Let's let's let's, oh, let's, let's, yeah. let's not forget Alvin yeah. and the Chipmunks. My bad, yeah. my bad. Yeah. I totally yeah. forgot about that. Me too. Yeah. So between my name is Earl and Chipmunk Bunny, yeah, he might. He oh yeah, he, he, don't he don't need to do, need to do nothing. nothing. I think, I think that's probably why we haven't seen Justin, Justin Long, Long too. too. <laughs> see, see, some of you people may scoff at that those Chipmunk movies, but man, yeah, he's probably probably. Listen, babes, as a as a, as a as a child, child, child of the as a baby of the eighties and a child of the nineties, much like people that love Garfield, I will go see Alvin and Chipmunks movie just off sheer nostalgia. I'm gonna do it every time. How many movies was that franchise? Was it, did they get three, three or four? four? Okay, because I know I, I only saw one, but yeah, okay, yeah. So I mean, they, yeah, they, I mean, they, they milked that. So I want to say it was, it was four, four. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait. It's, it's Alvin, Alvin and Chipmunks, Chipmunks the squeakquel, Alvin, Alvin, Alvin and Chipmunks, Chipmunks Chipwreck. Chipwreck. Yep, yep, and the and road chip. Yep, it was four movies. I was right. You know what? Can somebody, Can somebody send me the, the, the four, four movie, movie collection, 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 collection on Blu-ray, 4K, 4K, 4K oh UHD? UHD. I'd love I'd you love forever. You forever. <laughs> that, I mean, I already not you, Phil. I was gonna say I already kind of have one, but I was gonna say we should do wish Amazon wish list. Just uh, I'll just put them in the show notes every time. Be like, yeah, hey. <laughs> no, 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 nobody, nobody can, can afford my wishes. wishes. I, can't I can't even afford my wishes. Oh my! <laughs> Yo, well, well, if, if the pages will remember. Our, our last everything. year's wish list. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mama's, Mama's got, got uh, expensive uh, taste. You, you I got caviar. caviar. I, got I got champagne, champagne taste, taste on... Uh, you, think, you think she had Elon Musk? Great value yeah, soda, soda money. money. <laughs> oh. I would have said check soda, soda, but I feel like when Dixie's, Dixie's too, too regional. regional. She, got, she got caviar dream, but Arby's reality. <laughs> Hey man, I, I could live with Arby's Rally. Shout, Shout out to them for their for three, for three for five, five menu, menu, by the way. Yeah. Their ciders are bigger, bigger than Wendy's, Wendy's sandwiches, sandwiches, by the way. I mean, no Arby's, wrong, so. when are you going to sponsor us? Yes, please, please, please. <gasps> oh, oh, I do I have, have to mention, mention October 8th, we might have to do a salty and petty food based episode because the Krabby Patty. That is going to be clicks and views, my friend. I'm sorry. You're going to have to do it. Okay. A pineapple frosty. Oh. So we might have to do You might have to put that on the calendar. Okay. Okay. All right. Millennials, do not be annoying. To the Wendy's workers, they do not get paid enough. Get your order and leave. Oh, my. I don't, I don't need this to be a, a Szechuan, Szechuan sauce, sauce incident, incident all over again. Uh, so what would you give Chasing Amy as a grade? Um, I think I agree with you uh, on the Kevin Smith uh, uh, curve. Probably a, eh, 
straight up B, and then I think, yeah, overall, uh, I I wouldn't go the C minus like you. I think I'd go probably a solid C, uh, as in cuckold. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, like, again, I mean, I think Kevin Smith had a decent idea. It's just the execution was very Kevin Smith. Okay, okay what's, what's your favorite, your favorite Kevin, Kevin Smith, Smith movie? movie? Um... It's been a while since I saw a bunch of them. You know what? You know the one that made me laugh? Uh, I know the one I remember enjoying the most and making me laugh, I think, was Jay and, Jay and Silent Bob Straight Back. Oh, okay. But again, it's been a while since I watched a lot of them, so. Uh, my, my favorite, favorite one, one is, is absolutely, absolutely Dogma. Dogma. What's well, a tie? tie? No, that's good, too. Yeah. Dogma, Dogma and Mallrats is a tie. tie. You know what? Those two are probably tied for my number two, probably. And I'm and just, just going to be real. real the, the least Kevin, Kevin Smith, Smith movie actually, actually is Zach and, Zach and Mary make a porno. porno. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. I forgot that was a Kevin Smith movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah. And that was filmed around here. Yeah. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah, because like the, the one scene where they're at the mall, I think it was one of the local malls around here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they think it's not they said yeah that was filmed around here. But yeah, no, that's kind of kind of why I want to do an episode on Jane Silent Bob straight back at some point, just because I want to be like, is it as good as I remember? <laughs> it never <laughs> is. is. Nostalgia is a hell of a I know, I know. Alright. Uh but yeah, no, those those are my thoughts. Do you have any other thoughts on no, not at all. It's just, it's, it's good, good to see that, that they're, everybody's still, still doing, doing stuff, stuff pretty much, pretty much though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this premiered, premiered at Sundance. At Sundance. Yikes. Yikes. I'm surprised, I'm surprised that it premiered in April of 97. It wasn't 420. It was, 420. 420. It was, it was April, April, actually April, April 4th. 4th. Uh, well, he probably had no control over that. <laughs> Let's see. What was 420, 420 on 1997? But, um, well, yeah, I mean, I could see them, you know, pre trying to premiere this at all the film festivals. And, you know, I'm sure they were pro kind of promoting it as like, you know, uh, you know, just the whole sexual identity thing. And oh, that was a Sunday. I'm, I'm sure they pre I'm sure they were really pushing the romantic and gender and uh, sexual identity thing over the oh, it's a comedy. A romantic, no, no ro listen, listen, romantic, romantic comedies were the yeah. 90s bread and, bread and butter. butter. That's true. That's true. I, I mean, if it had been, if it had been any more rom com, Drew Barrymore would have been in it. <laughs> nice. nice. Thank you. Or, Meg, or Ryan. Meg Ryan. Oh, true. Or Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. Oh, yes. Shout, Shout out, out to my rom com, -com queens. queens. And, and also, also, Jack, Jack Quaid needs, needs to do a rom com, -com. to honor oh. his mom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he, he, said doesn't, he doesn't do it because do he doesn't want the comparison. Oh. Uh, Everybody, Everybody forgets forget Meg's, Meg's mom. mom. I mean, when, when's the la what's the last good rom-com we got? Shit. It ain't it been ain't in been the 2020s. 2020s. Uh, I, can't, I can't think of why. I mean, not that. I, I want to say, wanna like, say 2015, like, 2015, maybe. I was going to say, because... I mean, I've been out of that game for a while because usually when I see, I'd see a yeah, that's like a date night thing. It's when I was dating, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see. I think, I think honestly, honestly, it might have been 2015, 2015 is the last, is the last one I can really think of. Hmm. I'd say I'd the say longest, longest ride. ride. Yeah. <laughs> of, course of course, I would I say that. <laughs> but, but like that, that was like from the guy, the guy that wrote like the Notebook. Like remember, like it was like every book that the guy that the Notebook wrote turned into a movie. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. that yeah. decade, like the yeah. 2010 to 2019. Yeah. So any, so any one, of one of those movies I would pick. pick. Or was that? Uh, I wouldn't call Fifty, 50 Shades a gray rom-com at all. No. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the big, probably the biggest rom-com franchise for a, a while there was what, Bridget Jones? Was that a rom-com? Uh, Bridget, uh, Bridget Jones, Jones, anything by Judd Apatow, Apatow, actually, actually which, which I think ended in the, the 20, 20, the late 2010s, too, as well. They, they, they got they rid of it as a studio, studio move, move in general. general. Oh. Remember, so they, they tried, tried to just make, make it a thing, thing again, again with that George, George Clooney. Clooney. Yeah. And What's, and What's Her Face, face movie? movie. Julia the Roberts. The Getaway, the that parent one. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like the and then that, that one with one Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence, Lawrence that, that flopped, flopped like a motherfucker. 
Oh, the one where she's fighting guys naked on a beach. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's like, hmm, we don't, we don't do, do that, that here anymore. anymore. I mean... <gasps> My personal favorite, though, would probably be 500, 500 first dates with Adam Sandler, Sandler and Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. I think that's a... 50 yeah, why did I say 500? 500. Oh, because 500 Days of Summer is actually not a rom-com. Uh, it's a psychological yeah. horror. If you know, you know. Why? Well, again, it's like I think Hollywood ships uh, every couple de a decade or so. When it, Listen, you know, rom com should have been the bread and butter. butter. That's, That's why we don't yeah. have mid tier. That was that the mid tier budget movie that would make you your money, money back. back. But do you think now one, we're just doing block, block, blockbuster stuff? But do you think once the MC? Yeah, yeah. Do you, I was gonna say once the MCU made big money, were they just like, oh, superhero movies the way they're the way it's at? Yeah. That's why Hollywood hates them things because they're just like you know they're like oh, we were doing our thing and then all of a sudden. You know, Hollywood decided to go for the money. Yeah. I mean, it's always, always been about the money, but at least they were willing to be experimental at one point in time. At least they were able to, they were willing to do different genres, yeah, at once. Yeah. Like Rom-coms, horror, you know, whatever. Action. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen, seen a single rom-com rom -com that I've liked in literally a decade at this point. So. I can't, that's what I was going to say. I couldn't even remember seeing one. 13 going on 30, 30 how, to how to lose a guy, guy Sweet Home Alabama, Alabama Sweet like Sweet Hitch Sweet even. Uh, I, I can I go, go there. there. Oh my God. What's that What? What's the one with Drew Barrymore where she was, where, was she was she a reporter pretending to be a high school student? Oh, oh Never Been Kissed. Kiss. Yeah. I fucking iconic. <laughs> I'm disco I'm Barb. Barb. Listen, Listen, I can, I can quote, quote that, that movie. movie. That, that movie, movie was problematic, was problematic though. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Ooh, the Ooh, 90s, 90s rom-com rom do not, not hold up, babes. <laughs> Hell, they barely held up in the 90s. <laughs> oh. You know, you the, know one, the one. Uh, uh, with us, with uh, uh, Supergirl, Supergirl sister. sister. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, the um, Not Another Teen movie or... Yeah, but yeah, the one that the is one that based on, I always forget the name. Oh, wasn't that, um, I thought you already said it. Um, how to, wait, was it how to, no, no, no. That's not how to lose a guy. No, 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 that, no, that's, that's, uh. Yeah, yeah, oh, God, what is that? Um, I swear there was a number in the title. What was that? It'll come It'll to me. Just give me a give second. Me a second. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, she's all she's that. All that. That's she's the one all that. Out. Yes, yeah. That now that, that, now, that chef's, chef's kiss, kiss teen rom com, -com movie right there, right perfect. Oh yeah, with the with the trope of oh we're gonna pretty up the ugly girl. Meanwhile, she's takes ugly her glasses because she, off because she wears glasses and has her and hair paint covered up. Yeah, yeah. He's he also, he did, also a did a lot of lot good of uh, rom coms. Head, Head over heels, heels is pretty good with and summer catch. Uh, okay, so I feel like it will set me up to uh, rate rom coms. <laughs> I, I, God, that's it's my wheelhouse. Like, 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 like 90s, 90s through like, like the mid 2010s, 2010s like, like any, movie, any movie, movie pretty much, much that's, that's my wheelhouse. My <laughs> any movie. <laughs> I, I, I went on a I lot of dates date during that time. time. Oh my! <laughs> a lot a of dates. Wait a minute. <laughs> Weren't you like 10 in the 90s? Jeez. You can, you can parent date. Oh, okay. Friend dates. I literally saw Jurassic Park 3 with a group of friends. And it was so short. Like, we went in and the sun was still up when we came out. <laughs> those, those, those middle school dates where yeah a, a, a big group of boys and girls go so it's and like everybody yeah. pairs <laughs> you, you have plausible deniability it's like oh it's not dude my bros just, are here just, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> oh. so yeah, yeah i mean like i said if you want to like, like really hear me geek, geek out and nerd out, out one of my one special of my interests for sure <laughs> all right so anything else no, we, oh, can, we wrap can wrap it up. it up. All right. So, yes, kids, uh, let us know uh, your favorite Kevin Smith projects. Uh, you've heard a month of them. Comics what and theme movies. should we do should next? We do next? <laughs> yes. Oh, who? who well, we, what are we, we doing we for October, October for Salty and Petty? Should we do the full Affleck? Uh, what are we doing? Let me see. Um, da, 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 da. I mean, I don't. Hold on. Let me open the schedule. I'm not sure if we have a 
set schedule. I was going to say, we could do some horror or something if you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm always down for that. Because mm, I was going to say, if we need... I, uh, let's see. We got... Yeah, uh, October's pretty much open. So I was going to say, should we maybe like rate franchises maybe? Like Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Halloween. Should we... Something oh, like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, okay, so we just need to pick, let's see, one, two, three, four, so. You know what, you know let's, what? Get, let's a get a wheel. wheel. We'll oh, put, okay. like, our top choices, choices on it. On it. Well, spin a wheel, wheel every, every week. week. I was going to say, we get to throw it on there, because I know you're a huge fan. I mean, Hellraiser. Only if we can get Chichester. Oh, oh, you're you're more in the comics than the movies? No, 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 I know, I know the, the movies, movies, but do you, uh, you, do you know how many Hellraiser movies there actually are, though? I can't remember. Again, it's been a while since I've seen those. I want to say 11. 11. Let me just double check. Hold on, because I'm actually in the middle of the rewatch and I'm getting my checklist up. Because I was going to say, I don't I don't think I've watched a Hellraiser since maybe like my senior year of high school or something. Give me one second. Hellraiser, what am I number am I on? A lot of those have to be direct to video, right? Well, most of them are, but they still actually count in the canon. 17, 17, 17. Oh, yeah, that? I was right. There's 11 movies. Okay. I think the first three came out in, uh, like, in the actual theaters, and the rest of them are direct to video. Except, no, Hell 4, because Hellraiser 2022 was a reboot that did come out. Well, it ended up on streaming somehow, but it was supposed to be a theatrical release. Ah, okay. Then there's also the books, the comic, like, the whole franchise, but if you want to just talk movies, 11. Oh my! All right, well, well, we'll discuss it. Or again, we can do. I mean, if you want to know the ones with the shortest ones, it is Evil Dead. I think that only has five. If you don't include the TV show, you have Chucky, which is like six. If you don't include the TV show, well, Child's Play, but most people call it Chucky. No, actually, there's eight movies. What am I talking about? I was gonna say I thought there. Final Destination only has five. Uh, paranormal, uh, paranormal Activity, activity has, has seven. seven. I can give I can you a list. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, we'll we'll discuss this, and also, but uh, people, if you if you have suggestions, send them in. What do you want us? What franchises, horror franchises, do you want us to rate? Uh, and do not, do not say Amityville horror. horror. It is over oh, sixty fucking, fucking movies. movies. There's, There's no way. Whoa. Yeah, if yeah, you if want you to talk, talk about, about every movie with Amityville, Amityville horror, horror in the title, title it's like it's 60 plus and more, and more coming every single, every single month. month. Wow. It's because it's, it's in the public, public domain. domain. Yeah. All right. So, no. no. <laughs> Taught you that word. All right, kids. So, yes, send us your thoughts. Uh, again, on all the Kevin Smith stuff, what do you want us to cover in October? Email us. Salty and Petty 69. And He's got it, boys! Woo! It only took uh, 81 episodes. Woo! <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Salty and Petty 69 at gmail.com. Or call the voicemail 614 382 2737. And, of course, you can find all things Salty and Petty and Caves and Lunatics uh, episode, social media, merchandise. Uh, old merch new merch uh you can also uh find the cash app link uh little demands that yeah remember kids she has caviar taste so please yes uh please mama need a new cosplay, cosplay outfit. outfit that's right so yes rain random money also the cash app link Make it rain. and of course the patreon where we do something different every month i mean yeah sometimes we do comic stuff but i mean we've done god we've we've covered this year's avn awards uh we've yeah, you never know what we're going to get. I mean, we're going to rank the Alien movies. So, yeah, so it's all... It's all the results may shock, shock you. you. Uh, <laughs> make the burst right out of your chest. All right. Uh, so. <laughs> or hug, or your, hug face. your face. Oh. Keep her personal life out of this. All right. Uh, so, yes. So, find the Patreon at patreon.com slash capes and lunatics. Please subscribe and find everything at tubespace.io slash capes and lunatics podcast network that's tube space.io slash capes and lunatics podcast network more vicious and brutal than ever all right anywhere uh anywhere you want the boys to go uh salty 
Well, if you're on TikTok, you can always swing by and uh, give me a follow at lovehellfire69. Duh. Still waiting to hit a thousand so I can just live stream. Oh, my. Either do the six or do the nine. Live, live stream or birthday uh, video. Or birthday video. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yes, please. Just got my yeah, GoPro, GoPro waiting for nothing, for I guess. Oh. Very hard, very tempting. Oh, you don't want to know the things I've done. GoPro videos, or I call them exhibit A. <laughs> uh, don't put oh, silly goose, goose, you know the stream's on delay. What? <laughs> the stream's <laughs> on delay, just uh, in case. Oh, that's true. That's true. It's all rape and murder, girl. I'll tell you that. And shut your filthy mouth. All right, kids. Thank you for joining us. Again, you're going to be getting a bunch of horror in October, but. You know who you should try to get? Maybe a Lil? Let's see if he's oh, yeah, okay. One condition, you don't bring Rob. <laughs> He'll bring, bring up some Charlie Esser Charlie level, level badness. badness. I know. I saw this movie from 1972. He's probably, He's probably seen, seen the Amityville, Amityville horror, horror vibrator, vibrator movie. movie. Oh! 